What's up everyone, it is Dark Viper and I am here to show you how to auto farm buffalo core for crystals and for gold. I'm also gonna show you how to auto farm crystallized iron and you don't actually have to be AFK for any of these things. You don't have to, but you can um, using two of the methods. One is with the tiny task and that I showed you how to use with the auto AFK berries. And this one is gonna be also including some of those steps as well as showing you just how to do it actively. If you don't like using autos, then you can just stand there and do it and it'll Kind of still work it'll basically give you a safe spot for dealing with the buffalo core and then it's also going to give you an easy way to farm iron ores to get a lots and lots of crystallized iron i actually got these two here just from doing a couple tests and it's just super easy to get so so let's get to it first things first you're going to need a six by five space and what you're going to do is you're just going to basically surround this and leave a little spot right here and in the back so you basically just do like a c shape here and then you're going to do another shape here mirror that and that is for our totems and then you can do any kind of build of the number of totems you want the more totems the better for faster spawn but what i would say because because totems spawn or every 30 seconds you're going to want to make sure at least you have enough here and then on top of that um, you do have a little delay so when you're using your pickaxe whether you have a gilded or an iron or what there is a delay for you to be able to farm these stacks or these ore deposits so if you're going to be doing that it's not like you're going to be firing off being able to you know take these out every second anyway so you don't need like 30 totems to be able to do this it does take about i think about two to three seconds for you to hit each deposit in that case just you know i don't have that many that you need here it's basically one two three four five six seven so there's 14 here that you can do and you don't even need that many but let me tell you if you are going to deploy less iron totems don't mess it up um and you know just leave a bunch of big gaps on this because what's going to happen is the ore is going to start depositing here and here and you don't want them to spawn like that so if you're going to only do say like four then and you're gonna to wanna to take these out and only do your corners, right? So you're only gonna have four of these blocks. So you'll have one here, here, and here, and then right here with your totems. You're only gonna do four. That way, you know, you're not spawning or on the empty spaces. So basically what I'm trying to say is you don't want any empty blocks. You don't have any empty surfaces. So we're gonna go and fill that back in. And then we're gonna put a block in the center. This is where your de ore deposit's gonna spawn because it's the only block it can spawn on. So it's gonna be dead center all the time for you. So we're gonna fill in this space just so you can run up against it and know you're, you know, you're gonna be fine right here. And then you're gonna basically put the totems up. So now one thing you're gonna notice is the iron deposits are gonna start spawning here and despawning. It's gonna be looking like it's kind of glitching all over the place. It's gonna spawn and then what's gonna happen is the totem is actually going to absorb the iron deposit right away. So it's gonna spawn and then it's gonna go away and spawn and go away. And what you need to do is you need to wait for these totems to all fill up before you can actually start harvesting. Don't stand here and say, oh, look, there's a deposit stack. I'm gonna start. Like, you you shouldn't touch those. Don't touch any of these. You're gonna glitch it out. It'll it'll totally bug out on you. So you wanna make sure you don't touch this until you see that all of these are filled, okay? So we're gonna go back while, while that's going on. We're gonna come over here because I've already got a farm and I actually have extended mine. So you can see I've actually extended it so I can actually hit two stacks at once. So there's the first one here that you saw that's matching that build. And all you had to do was, just do a little extension here and put another square in the middle, which is what this is, you know, sitting on. And you don't even need this extra one back here. I'm going to go ahead and take this away. There we go. So now we're going to go and stand here and we're going to farm it. You can just hold down and then get that one in the back. And you can see how fast these respawn. It's really fast. So now I'm waiting for a little bit longer. Okay. Okay. So I shouldn't have to wait very long to be able to get this second crystallized iron. Yep, I already got one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it's super powerful. It's really powerful to be able to just sit here. So you don't have to run around, you can just hold down, you don't have to move. So I literally just made like 80,000 within two seconds. And because I've already made a couple before this, I've already made 240,000 within probably a span of 20 minutes, something like that. Definitely a powerful thing. You know, if you watch my video from yesterday, which was the um, how to get rich basically fast, go from noob to pro and earn a lot of coin. This is actually one of the faster ways of doing it. I just, you know, I think a lot of players are gonna be intimidated by this process. It is kind of boring. But um, this is a really, really good way for you to farm and go millionaire quick, right? Like you can also, I mean, I, I don't need to do that many of these. I probably only need about 10 of these and I've already become a millionaire. Now, sometimes this can take a while. So like I got really lucky, I think on that one, but it could take about another 30 minutes for me to get another one. So this is one of those things that you're probably gonna wanna AFK at night if you are willing to do so, or if you're watching television or Netflix or something, just hold down. And every now and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to click again when they spawn. So when we do our tiny tap, 
task, which I'm gonna show you right now, you're gonna be basically holding down the mouse for about, I would say five seconds at a time, then letting go and then resetting it. And then we're just gonna loop that. Let's go ahead and do that now. So if you haven't watched my auto berry farm video yet, you should probably do so before continuing so you know how to use tiny task and how to get it because all of that is broken down in that video as far as how to use this tool and where to get it. So I'm gonna link that in the description of this video so you can hop over there and come back to this one after you figured out how to use tiny task. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and um, reset things to, to the defaults so that if you are just gonna go straight out and get it, or you can use macro creator. I've done a video on how to use macro creator before and that's just another macro service. And that's also very clean. That's a very clean software. It's just macro creator.com and I'll link that in the description. I'll link both of these in the description of this video so you can go to the right sites. But um, so first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure you understand the hotkeys. Recording hotkey is gonna be control shift alt R. That's to start it and stop it. And then in order for us to play it, we're gonna use control shift alt P. Now this is only helpful for desktop users. There are versions of this kind of stuff. I know there's like something Mac, Mac task or some others that for on Mac, they're just like this software. And then for mobile, mobile users actually have a bunch of tools they can use as well. So you'll definitely need to go do your own research there on how to get those and figure it out on your own. Cause unfortunately I don't, I don't have those tools. I don't know how to do them. You're going to have to do a little bit of research, but the principles are going to all be the same. It's just, you're just capturing tasks and playing them back differently than I am. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start recording. I'm going to go into first person view just so we're consistent so that when you're, you're not in some kind of weird zoomed out state. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, record by hitting control shift alt and then R and now I'm recording and I'm going to hold down for just a moment and then I'm going to do it again and then I'm going to stop it now I've stopped it I'm going to go ahead and save it and now we're gonna make sure preferences has it on continuous playback because otherwise it won't loop. So click that. And now we're gonna go back in here just like we were when we recorded. We're gonna move up to this, just make sure it's in the same position. And then we're gonna hit Control, Shift, Alt, and then P to play. All right, so we got our fourth crystallized iron. We're gonna go head out now. And we're gonna go do some buff hunting. Let's see, do I have any keys on me? Let's see, I do, I got one key on me. So a hammer is not required. You could actually, if you're a noob, you can use the wooden sword if you really want to. It's kind of hard to do though. You're definitely gonna be hitting them a lot more. All right, since I already have a key, if you don't have a key, you're gonna have to just kill some slimes for a bit so you can get to this island. But since I already have a key, I'm just gonna go straight in. All right, when you spawn into here, you're gonna see a bunch of buffalo core roaming around. The one you wanna go and hit is all the way back in this corner over here. Uh, you pass this little cave, like little cove thing, you come over here and you're gonna plant yourself on this corner. We're gonna go and kill him real quick because he's gonna be in our way. So he spawns in the same spot every time. The only thing I would have warned you against is you're probably gonna need to keep an eye on this if you're on a public server. VIP, you're pretty good unless you have other people joining you. So if you can if you can just have a solo VIP, this is way better. But basically the way you're gonna do this is, see this little sharp corner here. We're gonna go and kill him real quick. Go ahead and take him out. See this little lip right here. It's kind of sharp, sharp edged. It makes it really hard for them to climb up. There's a little bit of a ramp right here. He could climb up if he spawned too far to your right. But right here, it's really a sharp edge. So it's hard for him to get up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up right here. Now, I think the game, has some detection. See how he just stopped? And he kind of just like, I'm confused. I can't get you anymore. Well, you're not going to really be able to kill him unless you start moving around. And to avoid that, just jump. So it'll reset him as soon as you jump. I think there's some like idle detection code to see if you're idle. So as part of, if you're going to do any kind of macro, you're going to want to just do one little jump and then you're going to reset him again. So, because otherwise, if I stand here, watch this. If I stand here, he's going to get this like confused state. You're going to be like, I can't get him. See, he's all confused now, can't get him. And now I'm not doing any damage to him unless I move. So if I jump, like he's reset again, he's good. So what you're gonna wanna do is just jump every like maybe two seconds. And if you're doing any kind of uh, tiny task or anything like that, just jump every few seconds and you should be in good shape. Now this is not a foolproof uh, location. It doesn't mean he's not gonna get you, but it's most likely they won't. All you need for this though, you, you know, again, a hop every now and then. That's the only macro part you're gonna need is the hop. So to show you how I'm gonna do that, here we go. I'm gonna show you real quick in tiny task. So we're gonna pull up tiny task and you can see here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, record us uh, clicking. So I'm gonna go in first person mode. All right, so we're gonna record this. We're gonna start, we're gonna keep clicking while we record, jump, and the recording, we're gonna play it back. Now, if he's still hitting you, just back up a little bit so that he has to hit that lip a little bit. He might be too close to the edge. You can kind of match the screen that I've got right now. 
You see, he's, he kind of gets slowed down by the edge. See, without hitting him, you can see he gets stuck right there. He gets stuck, and he's like, I can't get you, dude. Yeah, you can't get me, dude. So if you don't like that spot, you can actually go on this side, too. It's no big deal. You can do it over here, too. Now, if you notice the little sprint kind of zoom that's going in and out, it's because my shortcut in involves shift. You could change the shortcut to be F8 and you'll get rid of that weird zoom thing that you're seeing right now. It doesn't affect the auto, but it does look a little weird. But it, you know, again, it's just because my shortcut involves shift. No buff crystal this time, everyone, but maybe you'll have better luck than me. I think I just used up my luck on my professor alt account, a buff crystal and three kills. Unlike me, I have to kill these things probably like 5,000 times, but that's okay. I'll, you know what I'll probably do after this video? I'll probably AFK it and get a couple buff crystals. That's probably what's going to happen. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you're new. And we'll see y'all next time. Take it easy. Give me your buffle core. Get over here.